Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and welcome to another recipe. So today's recipe is going to be a delicious creamy nut cheese. It doesn't take very long at all and I'm using a combination of cashews and blanched almonds. So blanched almonds basically just don't have the skin on them. You can blanch them yourself by placing them into hot water and peeling off the skins or just purchase them blanched. So I've soaked the cashews and the almonds in some hot water and I've had them sit for a couple of hours so they've softened up. If you don't have a very powerful blender you might like to use a food processor for this because it does make it easier to scrape it down or you might like to soak these overnight and really get them nice and soft. So this is a cup of um, mixed nuts like I said almonds and cashews and I've now drained the water off these and they're going into my blender. I've also soaked some chia seeds, so half a tablespoon's worth, in one eighth of a cup of water, and that's just been sitting for uh, about half an hour or so. I'm going to add that in as well. Next, I've got a teaspoon of coarse Celtic sea salt. This is actually smoked coarse Celtic sea salt, so it'll give it a nice smoky flavor. If you don't have this, it doesn't matter. You could add a little touch of liquid smoke if you do want the smokiness or just leave it out altogether. It's perfectly fine just with plain or add the seasonings that you like. This is very forgiving and if you want to add some different herbs through this or different spices of your choice, I'm sure it will taste amazing. I'm also adding in a dash of black pepper and a teaspoon of some garlic granules. And I've also got the juice of a small lemon and the zest from that as well. So probably about a teaspoon of lemon zest and probably about quarter of a cup's worth of lemon juice. And then like I said, either blend it up in your blender or in a food processor. Okay, and then once this is all mixed and nice and smooth, it's ready for the next stage. So you might actually find if you don't have a super powerful blender that you might have to double this recipe just so you've got a little bit more mixture in here for your blender to work with. Or use a tempo like I've got here and just keep pushing it down and working that or use a small food processor. So there's lots of options there for you. Okay, so I'm going to take this mixture and put it into a bowl. You'll notice that it's quite thick unless you've had to add extra liquid and it's possibly gone too soft. Um, in that case, you might want to just add some extra nuts, soak some extra nuts and then mix it through to make it thicker. But mine is very, very thick. I'll just get it all out here and then we'll be able to shape it. For the shaping stage, I'm just going to get a chopping board, but you could get a serving platter. Either way is fine. And then this mixture is really, really thick. So you can shape this easily. Okay, we're going to just shape that into a bit of a ball. And you can even serve this as a ball, coat it in your favourite herbs and spices or um, some dill would be absolutely amazing on the outside of this or coat it in some seeds like I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to take my ball, I'm actually going to flatten it out a bit and then shape it. This is how I want to serve it. And then I've just got probably about a fourth of a cup of pepitas or pumpkin seeds and I'm going to put those on the top and press them into the top. And you can either leave it like this or put some more seeds around the sides and you're good to go. Just pop this in the fridge, let it chill for a little bit or eat it straight away if you can't wait. Um, and this will keep for a good four to five days in the fridge or you could even freeze it. But fresh is always best. So I hope you like today's recipe. I hope you give it a go. And if you have any photos and make this yourself, please share them on the Cooking with Plants Facebook group or on the Instagram page. I'd love to hear from you. So enjoy, happy cooking and share it with your friends. <laughs> See you for the next recipe. Bye for now.